All right, so the first mod we have on today's list is going to be the Mantis Submarine mod. Train submarine with unknown qualities. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to say unknown, but uh, I guess it's a spelling error. It's okay. All right, so here's our Mantis class submarine. It's kind of giving me Minecraft vibes only because of the way the front looks. The front's kind of blocky. It gives you Minecraft vibes in a good way though, in a good way. It's basically like a precursor submarine. So on the inside of the Mantis class submarine, we have five lockers worth of storage. And then this is where our vehicle batteries are. So we got four power cells right here. So it's pretty, pretty hefty in terms of batteries. And then we have our upgrades right here so with the submarine you can build interior modules just a few like you're only going to be able to fit these smaller modules in here you got the battery chargers so we have to use the force basically to pilot the submarine that's pretty cool i like that the light is green as it should be all right that's nice too and we have a max depth of 2000 that's that's good that's quite a lot but i guess considering there's no depth module upgrades for this thing that's probably why so we've crashed into quite a bit of stuff so far and yet we're still just going strong. So this submarine is pretty tanky as well. So it's a tanky submarine. It's also pretty fast. As we can see right now, I am freaking zooming right now. But yeah, that was the Mantis class submarine. It's one strong freaking submarine. It's got a max depth of 2000. It's super fast, extremely durable because we were barely taking damage when we were bumping into stuff. I would assume this thing is pretty good at ramming creatures. You could probably get rid of a whole bunch of creatures, even the Reaper. And with that, we are about to move on to our next mod. All right, so the next mod is submarine we have on this list is going to be the odyssey submarine a submarine built for exploration it is nimble for its size it fits into small corridors and its floodlights are extremely powerful i will be the judge of that okay it's coming down in slow motion i guess that's uh is that one of the features of the submarine? But as we can see here, we have our Odyssey submarine and it even says Odyssey on the side. That's pretty cool. Super compact and it's extremely detailed considering, you know, all the submarines that we look at there, it's not like they're all bad or anything. All the, all the submarines look amazing, but this one's a lot more, you know, detailed. Even if the resolution is a little lower, you can still see that there's a little extra level of detail to this entire submarine. It looks pretty cool. Okay, so we got an autopilot battery on the right side, whatever that's used for. We have the upgrade section on the left side of the submarine we have eight upgrades that we can slap into this thing but again the level of detail is just is just phenomenal with this thing okay so there are the other vehicle batteries we have four power cells in the very back of the submarine we have a fabricator on the wall and i'm gonna guess we're gonna be able to build in here as well Ooh, maybe not uh okay so there's not much room to actually build anything in here but it is a little bit possible so i mean if you can find a way to build in here and feel free so we got one two three four we have four storage lockers how much storage do they each have Pretty decent. Okay, that's nice. So we got power, headlights, floodlights, autopilot. Oh, it says to do. Uh, nav light. I said revolt. What did I just say? Revert to original colors. And then we have the interior lighting. And then we can recolor the submarine and rename it. Uh, let's just call it Jimmy. Ooh, ooh, that looks kind of nice. I like that. Oh yeah, we got some going now. Oh yeah, that's that's the that's the lighting you need at nighttime in this game. Oh yeah, that's bright. That is bright. So as we can see, the description of the submarine was not kidding. It's got some pretty powerful uh, floodlights and front lights that you can use to you know illuminate the area in front of you. So it's an especially useful submarine if you have to explore some areas at nighttime because these lights are pretty strong and they illuminate a lot in front of you. So it's not like, you know, you're not going to miss anything with these lights on. So that was the Odyssey submarine mod. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Oh my gosh, the lights are still killing me. And with that, we can head on to the last mod that we have on our list. The last mod on today's list is going to be the slot extender mod, and it's going to do exactly what you would think it would do. So it's going to essentially extend the amount of slots that you can have, or the, the amount of slots that you do have on your vehicles. So your Seamoth is included. The prawn suit is included. Upgrades. Oh, it is not. Okay, so just the Seamoth and the prawn suit are the only two that actually get the slot extension because it does not appear to have any effect on the cyclops but as we can see when we go over to our prawn suit and we open the upgrade section it's gonna have all these extra modules in there our extra module space all right so with this mod installed it actually opens the door for a bunch of new crazy and wacky builds that you could do with your vehicles with your prawn suit and your sea mod so for me the first thing i thought to do is put a whole bunch of perimeter defense modules on here so we're gonna test that out right now just a straight line filled up with nothing but perimeter defense Oh my goodness. Now imagine, imagine being a Reaper Leviathan getting hit with this many perimeter defenses back to back. No, 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 stop running away, stop running away. No, no, you know what this is. I'm hitting them, yep, keep hitting them. All that pain, all that pain you wanna cause people on their first playthroughs with Nautica, not nah, come back to bite you now. Get back here. I got out of my vehicle and I said, whoopsie. Not gonna be as fun to use for the prawn suit as it would be the other, um, as it would be with the Seamoth, because a lot of the prawn suit upgrades can't even stack, but you know, it was it was worth a shot. Feel free to comment, let me know what your favorite mod is, or let me know some other mods that I should try out in the next video. Other than that, that is what all I had for y'all. Thank y'all for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed, and I will see y'all in the next one.
peace.